guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post a lot of beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the kind of videos you love to watch, then please hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, we are going to be testing Catwoman's collection with Revolution. So Revolution just came out with a DC collection. They have Batman, they have Harley Quinn, they have Joker, and they have Catwoman. So obviously I had to get it. Catwoman has eyelashes which I believe were eight pounds, but can you see that packaging? It is absolutely gorgeous. I had to get them. There was also an eyeliner, but I own so many eyeliners from Revolution, I just didn't want to buy another one. Then there's a palette, again, the same kind of packaging. This palette kind of let me down just a little bit, and you'll see why in a minute. It says meow right there. This was again eight pounds. The palette again looks exactly like the packaging. You can kind of feel the glitter on here. The names are on the sheet, sadly. I did do a whole unboxing of this on my channel. And then this is the palette. Now I did expect dual tones. I did expect neutrals. However, I didn't expect two mattes in here. So that was what was a little bit disappointing. But there is one more product. A face product this is meant to be a highlighter this was six pounds again same packaging is very very cute and that is the highlight there I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me but it is so soft like look at that it just shines so well I am gonna swatch the palette for you and then we will do a look so here we have it, the swatches of the palette. This purple, I'm sorry, but I'm using that. That was the best out of all of the colors swatching them. I just have to use the purple. I just wish there was a darker brown that I could put in the crease just to, well, like the outer corner, really to make it a bit more, I don't know, a bit more depth to it, but the colors are really lovely. I just feel like I needed one more darker shade in there and then it, it would have been okay. For you, this is moments later. For me, this is probably a good half an hour later. I just chased a postman down the street for a parcel that he gave to a neighbor. I'm so annoyed. Anywho, I'm just gonna just dive straight in with the pink shade first. Um, that is called Kitty. Very dusty in the pan. By the way, the two matte shades actually have the cat embossed in it. And then let's go in with this brown shade called Thief. Very cool tone brown. I love that pink though. To be honest, I just want a little bit of depth and then I'll be happy. The pink was really pigmented. I built it up, but like, I didn't think it would show up on my skin tone and it has. Right, not that you can see the brown shade that much, which is a bit annoying, but let's just go in with, like we said, the purple, which is called Selena Kyle. Glad they named it that. Super soft. That's really nice. It's not as, um, intense as I thought it would be but I do like that I'm literally not even going to cut my crease with it I'm just going to keep it quite natural because there's no depth to this so I don't really want to cut my crease add depth to that and then not have depth to the outer corner all right pretty easy look I'm just going to go off camera do the rest of my base and then come back I'm such an idiot I went and put uh, highlighter on when we've got this to test so we're just going to put it over it because to be honest, it's quite dark anyway. I'm gonna try and use a very light hand. As you can see, it's kind of made it more bronzier. Oh, definitely not for my skin tone. <laughs> Bit too dark for me. Probably more of a shimmery bronzer. Shall I put it around my bronzer? Let's do that instead. I'm not gonna put it on my nose because it's just gonna look, there's a proper cast for this. But I do like it. So if you're someone who's darker than me, you're gonna love this, especially if you love gold undertone highlights, you're gonna really love this. All right, so now for these bad boys, I'll open them up on camera and then I'll put them on off camera. I love the packaging for these and they look like this. Oh my God, super excited. Only thing is, I don't know where my 
eyelash glue is. Look at that. Let's see the band. Wow. And the band is quite thick. So I don't know if I put enough eyeliner to cover it. Fuck me. They are definitely cat eyes, aren't they? What I'll do is I'll put them on. I really like that. And then under my eyes, let's take that off. I want to go back in with that pink shade and just dab a mix of that under there. But let's quickly do the inner corner together. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Like the View. So we'll put that in the inner corner. It's a really nice inner corner. I'll also put it under my brow bone. So I'm going to do all that off camera and then come back and show you what those lashes will look like on once I've found my eyelash glue. This is the finished look. It's not that like dramatic. It's a bit, it's quite natural to be fair. And I actually really like it, like a pop of purple, nothing too crazy. Let's talk about what's on my face first. So the first thing I have is my Conceal and Define Foundation, NYX Honey Dew Me Up, um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I dropped my new one on the floor. So I'm hoping it's not broken. <laughs> on my lips, I put the Revolution Pro Tease Lip Liner with the Shimmer Bomb in the shade Luster. I only put a tiny bit of this on because these are shimmery as hell. On my waterline, I went in with the purple liner, which is called Yasmin, which is right at the back there. <laughs> I used the Fast Base Blush in Bear. <laughs> this is a really nice shade. I used the Soul Body Bronzer, so just a normal bronzer. And then I used Colourpop Wisp Highlighter, and I believe that's everything other than, obviously, the chocolate pomade for my eyebrows. I love it. It literally makes your eyebrows look amazing. So let's start talking about these products. First off is the highlighter. I love the formula of this, but it's not my shade. It is leaving like a proper cast on my, uh, my cheeks. I love the price, £6. If you're darker than me, you're going to love this. It doesn't show texture or anything, and the formula just melts into your skin, so I really like the highlighter. The lashes are me. They are so nice and natural. They're not too dramatic, and they definitely give you a cat eye. So if you're in the market for some new eyelashes, I know they're £8, but they're thick. They don't feel like they're going to fall apart, so I do recommend this. It's just totally up to you if you want to buy them. The eyeshadow palette, mm, two mattes. It's not, it's not great. It, it's nice for like an everyday kind of um, palette, but I feel like I would want a little bit, a little bit more depth to my palette. I could use this every day, like a, the pink and then the brown in the outer corner, and then just the lid shade, and I'd be good to go but I would have liked a little bit more depth to my palette. The packaging is gorgeous. The price point, £8, you can't go wrong for a little palette. And I just love the jewel tones in there. The shimmers are so creamy. They work so well. They It kind of balances it out. So I really do hope you did enjoy this video. Please smash it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.